Hello everyone, Professor Barkrup is here and welcome back to another Forest Stone episode. Today is episode 43 and in today's episode, I'm gonna show to all of you a very simple river cage which is a lot uh, easier to build and very reliable. So if you are interested in this river cage, then without further ado, let's get right into the episode. So as you can see here, the wither is very stable. It is nicely trapped in this battle formation and it is targeting this chicken right here. So that means you don't have to worry about it uh, shooting at you or any other mob out in the end like shulkers and endermen and also this weaver is very stable and uh, it is standing on this copper block right here this cobblestone block and this cobblestone block will be uh, yeah regenerated by this um by this uh, cobblestone generator down here so there will always be a place like a block for the weaver to stand on so it doesn't get suffocated or anything and if you damage the weaver then don't worry although this block right here will get destroyed by the weaver the weaver will not gonna sink down because it is targeting the chicken which also means that it will always fly up it will gonna always fly up so if this block get destroyed and uh, this uh, cobblestone generator down here gonna push up a new block almost immediately for the weaver to stand on so it doesn't get suffocated and uh, also when you use this with a cage for other um, stuff for other major stuff like uh, um, a weaver's farm using enderman or um, a blast chamber you need to damage the weaver then the weaver might be able to uh, oh, get out and uh, destroy literally everything around it because of the rapid damage that is being taken so this weaver can take uh, some damage but in a rapid uh, yeah in a rapid rate the weaver can escape so if just one at a time so one damage at a time then the weaver cannot escape but if multiple uh, damage hit it at the same time uh, the weaver can get out so that is something that you need to pay attention and one more thing uh, this um, weaver cage design here is a lot simpler as you can see it's just a, a cobblestone generator down here it's just a little bit of redstone and also this weaver cage is a lot reliable a lot more reliable because um, in my previous weather cage design I used both to um, trap the weather there because both have a collision box and the weather can stand on the boat so when the uh, weather stand on the boat the weather will trap in here and these four um, bedrock here prevent it from flying uh, sideways and the bedrock up top here prevent the weaver from flying up but um, the previous design has uh, a problem that I, um, that I didn't uh, account for and that is when this weaver for some reason got to um, have health uh, the weaver would spawn a um, weaver skeleton and the wither skeleton will gonna jump into the boat 
and the wither skeleton will gonna nudge the boat out of the position so if the uh, boat position is incorrect the wither can have a chance to get out so yeah that is one flaw that I have encountered for and there's nothing you can do you know to prevent the wither skeleton to go into the boat because every single mob there will get killed by the explosion from the weaver so yeah that is one flaw one major flaw about the previous design that this design is doing better so now you have seen the weaver cage here in action as you can see the weaver is nicely in this weaver cage let's go to the tutorial about how to build this weaver cage The first step that you need to do in order to make this wither cage is you have to uh, go into the end and find one of these end gateway portal. In order to get one of these end gateway portal, you have to kill the dragon first and then it will gonna generate all, all around the main end island and also outside of the outer end island. So when you fly to the outer end island or use the uh, end gateway portal here to go out into the to outer end island there will be a, a uh, chance that you will find this uh, structure out there. So when you find one of these structures you have to destroy the portal block itself which is the block in the middle here. So in order to do that what you need is dirt, a red mushroom, and a lot of bone meal. So, what you want to do is place two dirt blocks like that, and a mushroom like that, a red mushroom, of course. Then go up here, go up three blocks, like so, and then two blocks, like that. You can destroy all of this except for that block right there, and then you can bone meal. And as you can see, the mushroom block has replaced the um, yeah the portal block, and now there is no more portal block here. Now all you have to do is to break all of these mushrooms, so we can go on to our next step. The next step of making this wither cage, what you want to do is first you have to find the direction that this number right here goes up that is the, uh, the x axis of the minecraft world so you have to uh, see if it is uh, increased so as you can see when i move this way that number increase that means you have to go back here and place five blocks in this direction so from the positive x axis right there what you want to do is place fine blocks like that so that is fine blocks right there and this is where you are gonna summon the weaver for the next step what you're going to do is prepare all of this material in my inventory you will need um, one piston one repeater one resident dust one lever a um, bunch of building blocks um, two circuit blocks and a water bucket and a lava bucket let's do this so from the bottom of the uh, end gateway what you want to do is go down six blocks so that's one two three four five and six so from the six blocks place an upward piston like that now place in your um, circuit block and you see a white concrete and place one to the side of the piston then get a repeater a block here and a lever right there and flick it so the repeater is powered like that then get a uh, block another block right there and the rest of dust on top and yeah that is basically the small piston circuit after that what you want to do is place a block here a block here a block here and then block here now place in your lava 
and place a block on top. Go to the other side and place one block here, one block down, one block here, here and here. Break that block, place one block here and place three more blocks like that. Destroy this block and place it in your water. Now what you want to do is encase everything in blocks. So encase every single thing of the redstone like that. And yeah, that is the cobblestone generator complete. Now if I break a block here, it will gonna automatically push the block up almost immediately and replace the breaking point of the block like so. For our next step, what you want to do is from here, you're gonna go to the left side like that and then you will go down from this block three blocks down so that's one two and three and now from this block you are gonna go out 15 blocks so that's the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen blocks now destroy all of that scaffold block like so and place a chicken right there okay from here what you want to do is go down one block then place in four blocks like this and place another block there then destroy these blocks immediately so the chicken cannot walk then place in a 2x3 sosan platform like this after that what you want to do is build a box around it after that what you want to do is fill in every single air blocks in here with water like that After you have filled every single air block in there with water and you see bubble appear on the surface like this, what you want to do is destroy every single block like that. After you have destroyed every single uh, surrounding block, it should look something like this. Okay, next up is the nerve wracking part, which is the part we summon the weaver in. So what you want to do is place water here to reduce the splash damage. Then place in the wither like that. Then place in the head, and the wither should be in the uh, yeah in the correct place. Now, if you are in survival, you have to fly away and then come back so the wither cannot target you. And yeah, as you can see, the score got redirected by the Sosan up and the chicken is still fine. So now the wither is stuck there targeting that chicken and it cannot go anywhere. As you can see when I break this, the wither is still flying. And that is when you know that you have built this correctly. And yeah, that is basically it. Now, for uh, something that uh, is similar to the previous Wither Cage, you cannot leave this Wither alive when you go back into the end or leave the game. So, what you want to do is you have to kill this Wither and then you can leave. So, in order to kill this Wither safely, what you want to do is destroy, yeah, is kill the uh, wither, then place water in to reduce the explosion damage. After it explodes, you can collect the wit, yeah, the nether star. Then you can block up the water like that. And that is basically it. A very simple and easy to build wither cage version two. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and uh, I think that's it for today.
Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode of Fun Resto. Goodbye.